Hi welcome to Postec Pre-Stressing. Today's topic is losses of pre-stress. Let's dive into various types of losses that occur when we do post-tensioning. In the design of post-tension concrete members, we must consider losses of pre-stressing forces. The input pre-stressing force can't be fully applied to the structural member. Losses occur from stressing operations throughout the service life of the structure. They comprise immediate and long-term losses. Immediate losses are caused by Friction Wedge seating Elastic shortening Long-term losses are caused by Creep and shrinkage of concrete and Strand relaxation in our design practice, losses can be computed as a lump sum or a percentage of the initial stressing force. The following value can be used as a guideline for a bonded tendon system. Immediate loss is about 7% of the initial jacking stress and total loss can be up to 20% of the initial jacking stress. At Postec Pre-Stressing, we have developed software to compute losses for post-tensioned members. This provides an accurate method to predict loss at distance x from the stressing end. This is not only useful for validating the assumed effective stress, but also for investigating the value of stress in tendons along the distance. Thank you for joining us for today's presentation. We wish you have a great time and see you in our next presentation.